Today we'll walk through how to customise shape maps for Power BI. From how to find, modify and convert your spatial files, to adding them into your Power BI reports using the shape map visual. I'm Alice from Discover AI, so let's get started. The first step is to see if we can find our spatial layer on one of the many open data platforms. If you're like me and based in Victoria, Australia, DataVic is a great spatial warehouse. Let's download this shape file for the major river basins across Victoria. Sometimes we may need to modify or even create our own spatial files. And QGIS is my favorite spatial mapping tool, which we can download for free. I'm now in the QGIS desktop, so let's add our river basin shape file. I'm only interested in the river basins close to Melbourne, so let's select these polygons. And we can export these to a new shape file. We can edit this shapefile by pressing Toggle Editing. And I'm going to split this basin into two regions using the Cutting tool. By right-clicking on the layer, we can open up the Attribute table, which is a list of all the attributes for each of our regions. Let's edit the basin names for these two regions. And always make sure to save your edits. Now that we have our spatial file, the next step is to simplify and convert it into a JSON file format using MapShaper. So let's import our shape file. And we can start by simplifying the file to reduce the number of vertices so that the file loads quickly in Power BI. Let's now export our file as a JSON file format, so it's ready for Power BI. The next step is to import the spatial attributes as a data set into Power BI. We can get a list of our attributes by opening up the DBF file in Excel, which was generated when we created our shape file. Let's add these basin names into our Excel data set. Heading across to the Power BI desktop, let's now import the Excel table into our Power BI data model. We've now reached our last step and we're ready to create our customized shape map visual. At the time of this recording, shape map is still in preview, so let's enable it. And this also requires a restart of Power BI. Let's convert this Bing map into a shape map by selecting our new shape map icon in our visualization pane. Let's head across to the formatting options and under the shape tab, let's add our own spatial JSON file of our Melbourne River catchments that we just created. We can also adjust the colours based on different metrics. We can provide some more context by adding in some report page tooltips. And check out the comments below for a link to our tooltip blog post for more details. Let's take a look at a couple more examples of how we can create some magic using maps in our Power BI reports. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have fun adding in your own shape maps into your Power BI reports.